Hello guys, this is Manish here and I welcome you all in the STEAM channel of Conceptual Biology from where the best you can get. Guys, have you ever wondered about the terms which are used frequently in the angiospermic taxonomy to determine the characteristics of androsium? Didn't you? No? Then you need not to worry because you are at the right place at the right time from where the best you can get. Guys, this video session is all about the arrangement of anthers on the filaments. Stay tuned and watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe my channel. Without any further delay, let's get started. Yeah guys, we are going to start the arrangement of anthers on the filament. On this basis, four types are divided. The stamen, that is, this one is the filament. Filament, as you all of you know. And these are the uppermost section of this uh, figure is the anthers. This one, this one, this and this all are anthers and from which they are attached the stalk like structure is called as filament. And constituting both of these structure is called as stamen. Okay guys, let us see what is the difference in all of these figures. And according to their differences they have been named separately. The basi fixed stamen as the name basi. Basi means is related to the base. The anthers are attached to the filament with their bases. That's why it is called as basi fixed stamen. Here you can see this is the attachment. This is this section, this point is the attachment of the anthers and the filament. And these anthers possess the pollen sacs. <clears throat> Come on to the next one that is adenate type of stamen. This one is the filament which is attached to the anther. As you can see, both of the anthers, both of the lobes of the anthers are connected with the filament. This, this section, this section is the filament area, and both of these two are the lobes of the anther. And this is why the attachment is of connective type. And hence this is named as adenate stamen. Now come to the next one, dorsi fixed stamen. What does this mean? Dorsi. <clears throat> there are two terms as you have already known, ventral and dorsal. If you will see at my palm, this one is the ventral and this is the dorsal. Okay guys. And this section is called as dorsi ventral. On the body, human body, you can also see this section is the ventral section and the back section is the dorsal section and the sidewise section is the dorsi ventral section. Okay, that's why here it has been written as dorsi fixed because the filament is attached to the anther from its back point. That's why it is called as dorsi fixed stamen. Okay guys. Now let us come to the next one, versatile stamen. Versatile stamen is that type of stamen which is possessing this type of anther and exhibits the last one, uh, the last anther to the filament is attached in this type of stamen. Let us see the examples. The example of basic fixed stamen is Dhatura. In Hindi it is also called as Dhatura. It comes under the Solanaceae family. This one, adenate stamen, is frequently found in Magnolia champaca. In Hindi, it is called as champa, the flower. Dorsifix stamen is frequently found in the genera of Passiflora. Passiflora is also called as Jhumka lata. Several species are there. In versatile stamen, this type of stamen is found in frequently in the Poaceae family, the grasses from the Poesy family possess this type of stamen that is versatile stamen. Guys, this was all about the terms based on the arrangement of anthers on the filament. This was all about. And uh, if you find it helpful, do give a big thumbs up to us and do like and share this video to your colleagues. And do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, take very care of yourself. Meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching.